Little wins, right? Yeah. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Hello, RC enthusiasts. Now, if you're using either the Pixhawk or the ArduPilot uh, for your flight controllers and you're using the Minim OSD for your on-screen display, you may be interested in this news. What's going on is a man named Louis Alves, and he can correct me if I'm pronouncing his name right or wrong, he's developing a new board to replace the Minim OSD. And right now it's just in beta test. Uh, it's not available on the market, but he has on his site, if you send him a donation, he will send you a board and you can be a beta tester. So I did that, and I've got a board right here. This is called the ALCE OSD, and it's to replace the Minim OSD because it has more capabilities and features. So let's get into taking a look at just what's different about it on the bench. So before going to the bench, I know you're just dying to see what the ALCE OSD looks like. So here it is. There's several different screens it can have, and this is one that shows the virometer down there in the bottom right and the radar at the left. Now here is the Minim OSD, and you can see it has larger characters, and this is the one we're more familiar with and the one that the ALCE OSD can replace. So here is the Hobby King Minim OSD which looks similar to some of the other Minim OSDs. And this is the new ALCE OSD from uh, Louis Alves right here. Now some of the differences are the processors. Now one of the main differences is the uh, processor on the Minim OSD was an Atmel Mega 328P and it had a Max 7458 chip for the video. So the processor is the main difference here. You can see that it's much smaller on the Minim OSD, a little bit larger here. And the reason for that is this is a DS PIC 33 here on the ALCE OSD. And then it has some other discrete components here. And I believe there's some on the back right here. So now let's look at the pinout. Let's look at the pin connections, which are basically the same. So they both have the same pin connections and operate the same way, although there is different firmware and there is a different configuration tool for the ALCE OSD. Uh, so it'll be different than what the Minim OSD had to configure it. And it's all a work in progress and that tool will be developed in the future. Now, as far as programming the firmware or uploading the firmware, you can still use the same FTDI to USB uh, adapter boards. This one is from SparkFun, but there's others available, so you can upload the firmware there with the uh, provided configuration tool. Okay, now in the, uh, as far as the jumpers go, there's a jumper for the PAL on the Minimo SD, as you all know. Whereas on, the, on this new one, there is PAL and NTSC, but they're auto-configured, so they just automatically select the right one. You don't need a jumper. There are jumpers, however, for the voltages, just like on the Minimo SD. So there's a voltage jumper here and another one that can be set for the 12 volts and the 5 volts very similar to the Minim OSD. Now looking at the video connections, the video in and out was stacked on the Minim OSD like this, but on the ALCE OSD they are separate. So that I kind of like that because the connections are separate and spread apart, easier to connect. Okay, so there's plenty of information on the web about it. Uh, this is the main information here, which is on uh, Google Sites. And everything you need to know about this package, about the development, is right here. And any new enhancements that are added will be in here, and the firmware will be available for download. There's also an RC Groups thread right here. Plenty of information there as well. And there's also some information going in on GitHub, so I'm believing it's going to be open source. In fact, if you take a look under firmware, 
and drill down in there and look at the various files. You can see that uh, the C and H files are provided as well as this XML and you can see the code in there so it's open source as far as I can tell. Now this is his website right here and he has some videos that you can watch there uh, on the OSD similar to this. So that's just some brief information I wanted to give you. I just wanted to let my viewers know that this is coming. It's out there. Like I say, it's not on the market yet, but you can join in if you go to that uh, Google Sites. There's uh, some information there where you can make a donation and maybe get one of the boards if he has time to solder some up. I think he has 10 new ones available right now, but I don't know. It, it's always changing, so just take a look. Thanks for watching. Here, 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 here.